Coming up next to the stage, uh, the one thing we've made sure to do with all of our roasts is that we allow people who's, uh, who are affected by the world around them get the chance to speak their minds. As if their opinions will keep us from tromping through their reality. We're the fucking protagonists, for God's sake. So uh, please allow me to bring to the stage the former president of the Quidditch World Cup Committee, Mr. Simon Goodright Smith. That was very improper, I do believe, Hagrid. Um, let me explain myself a little bit. My name is Simon Goodright Smith, and I, uh, I understand if you don't know who I am. I wasn't really a character in the books or the movies. <laughs> but a world exists outside of your narrow fucking idea of Harry Potter and his friends and the dragons and shit. Like, that's how, that's what I call it. Look. <sighs> Thank you all for having me here. I, I know that I, none of you know who I am. Let me uh, explain myself. Fourteen years ago, I made history and became the first Mughal chair of the Quidditch World Cup steering committee. Yes, I was an icon to Muggles everywhere who were into Quidditch. Now, I was promoted from director of Muggle relations. That is a very hard step to take. There had never been a Muggal World Cup steering committee uh, a chair before. I was the first. Now. I was doing a cracking good job, yep. Uh, you know that, that shitty old boot that doubled as a port key that brings people to the fairgrounds where they can sleep? Yeah, you know? That was my idea. <laughs> you know, giving it back to the little guy, and I understand that people were upset about the extraordinary amount of hobos who showed up that year into the Quidditch World Cup, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I explained that away. Anyway. I was in charge of the Quidditch World Cup for nine years, nine years, nine years, not a single Death Eater attack! <laughs> not a single one. Ask me, hey, hey, sir, ask me how many Death Eater attacks were there in my uh, third year of running the Quidditch World Cup. Ask me. How many Death Eater attacks? None! <laughs> Bloody none, not a single one. Uh, Ma'am, ask me how many Death Eater attacks there were in the fifth year of my... You know what, you don't even have to do it. There were none. Absolutely no Death Eater attacks, nine years, muggle running the Quidditch World Cup. Give it up for me. <laughs> Not about you. Not about you, fuckers. I'll get to you later. Look, I'm an English gentleman, and as an English gentleman, I thought I should explain what happened. Anyway, uh, the 422nd annual Quidditch World Cup is going swimmingly, of course. Uh, as I like to call it, the QWCCDXXII. Yes, uh, was going well, and then uh, suddenly. Through no fault of my own, nor my executive board, boom, Death Eaters show up, burn the whole fucking Olympic Village. What am I supposed to do? I mean, I'm a muggle. I can't stop Death Eaters from burning everything. What am I supposed to be doing? Seriously, shit. Everything's on fire, fire-breathing Death Eaters walking through, fucking up my tournament. Of course, who gets the fall? The little guy, the muggle, right? I get fired for some shit that I had nothing to do with, and now... I, no one gets the blame but me. Not Harry Potter, not Hermione Granger. You saw, you guys saw the fourth movie. He just lies there and passes out. Piece of shit. Now. I'm not gonna lie, it was a very, very tough, very tough adjustment for me to make uh, after I was sacked from the, the chair of the Quidditch World Cup Committee. Uh, I did, however, manage to land through a couple of favors an interview with FIFA World Cup. Uh, see? Um, <laughs> And it came up in the interview, because they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They asked me, uh, Mr. Goodrod Smith, what if Death Eaters show up during the FIFA World Cup and start firing flames at Wayne Rooney? And I said, if someone starts shooting fire at Wayne Rooney, maybe then he'll learn to hustle a bit during with the national competition. Aye? 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 A little bit of a uh, uh, football humor for you there. I guess you Yanks are not quite connected. <laughs> anyway, I digress. After that, I spiraled into a very uh, unfortunate series of events involving the bottle, some rehab, back to the bottle, massive unemployment, uh, and I had this visceral, developing, American History X-style hatred of Death Eaters for what they did to me. <laughs> 
I even joined the National Front, just on the outside chance that they included Death Eaters upon the groups they were racist towards. <laughs> They weren't, but uh, on the flip side, I did discover that I really just don't like Turkish people. Now, <laughs> seriously, decide, decide which continent you're on, you puss. Anyway. <laughs> My visceral hatred, I knew I hit rock bottom one day when I was in North London, and I saw at a distance, I was in an alcoholic haze, I saw at a distance a Death Eater just walking down the street toward the tube station. I was blinded by my hatred, my many shots of Jack Daniels. You Tennesseans make good whiskey. We love it in England. And I just charged towards this Death Eater, going to flying leap, kick him in the back, down into the tube station. And imagine the egg on my face when I saw it actually kicked a rabbi down a two flight of stairs. <laughs> Rabbi Yitzhak was actually very nice not to sue, but uh, that doesn't stop the Anti-Defamation League from sending me all those letters, so... <laughs> oh dear. Oh, uh, anyway. I'm excited to announce I'm turning over a new chapter in my life, though. Uh, I, starting spring 2015, I'm very proud to announce the first time ever here at the Pilot Light, Knoxville, Tennessee. Very proud to uh, announce the first annual Muggle Quidditch World Cup. I'm so excited about this. Now, uh, let me explain. Uh, as, as these events go, uh, I was despondent, but then I discovered that there were thousands of dorks around the world playing this game called Muggle Quidditch. Instead of doing comparable activities such as Dungeons and Dragons or <laughs> getting charity fucked or something like that. <laughs> That's a thing. <laughs> Our big obstacle was obtaining a sponsor. Uh, that was very tough for a while, but uh, last year around this time, my past involvement with far right-wing hate groups surfaced on the internet, and some American company called Chick-fil-A jumped on board. <laughs> Decided not to ask any questions. Now, let's get to the roast, shall we? Severus Snape is here, Mr. Snape. Uh, what a professor he is. He looks like the kind of professor who gets sacked for molesting his students. And everyone on the news is like, yeah, we pretty much saw it coming, you know? <laughs> I never thought I'd meet anyone who looks the way I felt when I assaulted Rabbi Yitzhak in North London. <laughs> Agrid, such a great host, didn't he? It's uh, Agrid. You're listed here as a half-giant, half-man. It must have been as difficult for your parents to conceive you as it has been for us to sit and listen to your shit jokes all night. <laughs> Luna Lovegood, I uh, must say, you've got a bright future ahead of you uh, selling Stop Bitching, Start a Revolution t-shirts outside of fish concerts. <laughs> <laughs> and he who cannot be named, for years I wanted nothing more than to punch you in the nose, but as luck would have it, in the interest of getting to know, uh, you didn't have one. Uh, sorry. Uh, in the interest of getting to know uh, you people, I'm sorry, sorry, uh, anti-defamation nation league letter, uh, your culture a bit better. Uh, I did a little bit of reading and found out that your name was supposed to be pronounced with a silent T at the end, like Voldemort, as in more fucking boring of a villain could not have been possible. <laughs> JK Rowling, I'm talking to you, you very feminine woman. <laughs> Proof that anyone with a dream can go from living on the dole to being worth 560 million pounds, yes. All you need is absinthe and a bizarre sorcery fetish, and boom, there you go. <laughs> Speaking of bizarre sorcery fetishes, Sirius Black is here. That's it. <laughs> Next up, Ron Weasley. Uh... Mr. Ron Weasley, I was prepared to let you have it, but from the looks of things, time hasn't been much better to you than it has to me, eh? 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 I will say this, though. Uh, you should have taken that Patil girl dancing in uh, the Goblet of Fire dance scene, you know? I always wondered, um, was, are, you, are you a fairy? She's a beautiful girl, and she was asking you to dance. You're like, oh, no, I'm pining over Hermione. 
She's chasing the D of Victor Crumb. Like, what the fuck is up with that? <laughs> Seriously, Hermione Granger, speaking of which, lovely young woman, Hermione Granger. But uh, I have to tell you, I did, never thought I would be the one to have to tell you this, but uh, I think Victor Crumb might be retarded. Like, <laughs> <laughs> He, he showed up to the Quidditch World Cup uh, when he was a uh, novice, and uh, we just stuck him on Team Bulgaria, and no one noticed, so... <laughs> Come at me, Bulgarians, what are you gonna do? <laughs> You're so too close to Turkey for my, for my liking, yeah. <laughs> Finally... Come to Mr. Harry Potter. Mr. Potter, you piece of shit. If you hadn't come to the 422nd Quidditch World Cup, I would still have a job, and thousands upon thousands of background characters would still be alive. <laughs> Look, Harry, you bring nothing but death and misery wherever you go, so as a favor to myself, the dais, and everyone in here, please only attend the following events, lest everyone there be destroyed by fire. Um, let's see here. Uh, tea party rallies. Uh, New York Yankees baseball games. Uh, what else? Oh yes, 311 concerts. Uh, really... Yeah, I didn't know 311's fan club was going to show up tonight. What the fucking luck? I have bad luck. We've established that. In fact, you know, just keep going to NV every night, and sooner than, la sooner than later, we'll take care of that. All right. Anyway, I'm Simon Goodwright Smith, and uh, I'm explaining myself to you. Thank you. Ever is the color of your energy. Whoa. You bastard.